Hello. Welcome to She Speaks Bravo. I'm Emily. Today is Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it's bright and happy and joyful, even when they're fighting. So we don't have to worry about the heaviness of Beverly Hills. So let's enjoy that. Let's let's enjoy it. Kendrick will be joining me as always. But before we do that, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm covering Atlanta, Beverly Hills and Salt Lake. No, hold on. (laughs) Atlanta, Beverly Hills and Southern Charm, soon to be Salt Lake City in Potomac when they start. Okay. speaking of it, sometime soon we should be getting a Salt Lake City trailer. They're really dragging that out, aren't they? Anyway, if you're already subscribed, love you, mean it. Thank you so, so much. And let's get into it after the intro. My name is Emily, and I have been watching Bravo TV as a form of self-care for over a decade. Needless to say, I'm a complete mess. Subscribe and follow along for painfully insightful recaps about Bravo, true crime, and other great TV. Hit that bell. Hi, Kendrick. Why, hello. Hello, it's a hello. great Monday. <laughs> it is indeed another great episode to recap with you, my friend. Yes, the fun, one of the funniest, I think, this season. I'd laugh probably from start to finish. That was a good, 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 good episode. I, I love that in the just Drew simply turning around and <laughs> like jokingly jogging away required surgery. Yeah. In the end. <laughs> oh, Drew. Now, it, every season she's on here. I feel like, you know what? I feel like she's replaced Eva. Eva was here and she was pregnant every season. <laughs> and now we got Drew who like cannot stay out of a cast for some reason. <laughs> Just replacing each other. And they're friends in real life. So there we go. <laughs> would you have Eva back? I would in a heartbeat. I'd love, I'd, especially after uh, Ultimate Girls Trip love Eva but I like I don't know why she like got let go I thought she was like contributing so much to the season so like I don't know I I'm here for it I feel like on the show I feel like nowadays they have a lot more room for more personalities because you know Atlanta I've said on here before I think but Atlanta has so many people that like not in a bad way at all but like they've always had so many people that like take up all the air in the room that it's like nobody else can breathe that's why Candy's having such an amazing season. Oh my God. She is like, she was hilarious. There was multiple moments last night where she made me laugh all the way out loud. Like, but she's having such a great season because, like, the Nene, the Porsche, the Phage, like, none of them are there to like inhale all the air. So, like, all of your ancillary characters and like other people, I feel like from the past that didn't really get a fair shake. Bring somebody back. I wouldn't mind. I'm here right? for it. <laughs> I agree. And you know what's fun about Candy is that it, she just says things naturally funny, like this. As we're like, Portia is going to give you a full on line. Mm-hmm. Like she's going to go. She's going to push it. And just the stuff that's coming naturally out of Candy Candy's mouth is funny. Yes, love it. I'm I'm here for all of it. I can't wait to talk about Barbie clothes. I, I, it's <laughs> all I want to talk about. Like I want to talk about it right now, but we'll wait because I'm dying to yes. talk about it. But it was just one of the best because I was thinking it too. Yes, <laughs> the irony that you have. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. My eyes have never rolled harder. I'm I could not. You make it so hard to root for you sometimes. Yes. Good lord. <laughs> everyone oh. was thinking it like no you're not doing this right now sheree dear god <laughs> let's just get into it okay okay yes. but first okay i think this might be i don't know when we've seen like a crossover title before where it's expensive to be she mm. is the title i love it i mean could have chosen a better character but i, I, was, I, like, <laughs> I, I was like too soon i don't know if right. that's the right word but something something I don't know if I when you think about it, though, I mean, take all the legalities out of it. Pretty similar story. I mean, <laughs> big <laughs> fall from grace and, you know, the 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 richest woman in the neighborhood, the best dressed and all like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sheree nowadays is stomping on Erica when it comes to the fashions. But they're stomping. both very. Yes, they're both very kind of 
Oh boy, ex football player, ex lawyer, cream of the crop, creme brulee, and now it's like, will we get a fashion show or not? Will we, will we get a fashion presentation? Sorry, or not? What's happening? I, I again, why did she need to do a whole fashion show? Like they're so hard to put on. Fashion shows are really hard to put on. Why would How about you- launch a website? <laughs> launch a that? website. Throw a party for the website. Hell- Matter of fact, launch a damn Etsy. Like, I'm not I'm not <laughs> complaining. Give yeah. me something. I want to buy something, Sheree. And like, what are we throw, doing? And, and literally just throw a cocktail mixer for it. Hello? That's it. You're doing a lot. You were, see, you were trying to be the season finale. Uh, I don't know if, is next week the season finale? I don't know if it's. It might be because I feel like it's got to be. It's the, it's the. I don't know. Actually. We've seen reunion looks now, so I feel like it has to be approaching at least. It's either the penultimate or <laughs> it is. Ooh. I know. I love that word. It's one of I my know. Most favorite words. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love when I get to say it. It makes you feel so smart, doesn't it? I'm like, it does. oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, the one. <laughs> uh, the, oh, the penultimate. You mean that one? <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one. There one. Goes. <laughs> um, how cute are Candy and Ace going to do their audition tapes to get when she goes, I think it's cute. I'm like, we all think it's cute, Candy. Okay. Adorable. And when he we nailed it, it, we were all at home like, yeah, go Ace. I can't. Oh. And then I like how the acting coach is named Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an extra R somewhere. Like no matter, <laughs> especially when you're in the theater, I feel like oh. you just throw whatever letter you want to on there. Like people are famous for throwing like the Beyonce E at the end of it. I, oh, Beyonce E, like I don't know what it's called, but throwing a Beyonce E out there and just like change your name to whatever you want it to be. It's like that's that's not your government. Like you can't that's you can't go into the, <laughs> you can't go into the social security office and say that they don't know who you are. Sorry. <laughs> um okay, so Marlo FaceTimes her sister. And I don't know if we've just heard this too many times about the 30 days. I needed those 30 days. But like this is just such a rehearsed line. I, it hurt me so bad to do it, but I just want them to be the best they can be. I'm like, Marlo, Girl. we have heard you say this. Yeah. I, Am I tripping or has this been like the longest 30 days in I, history? It's really a marker for how much time has actually happened on the show because we rarely really know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, so it's only been 30 days because it feels like. Because usually it feels like it. more time has gone by. We've had two cast trips since she did that. We had Blue Ridge and we had Jamaica. So like that couldn't have all happened in 30 days, could it? Wait a minute. <laughs> you went to, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a busy month. Production is exhausted. <laughs> right. <laughs> Production is like, we know. OK, right. we know we're aware and we're tired. Dear God. But let's go to a better place. Drew and Ralph's house and Drew is like fresh out of surgery <laughs> and like surgery <laughs> she like real to, surgery <laughs> a complete achilles rupture repair mm-hmm. like from just turning around it's just it happens so damn fast oh oh i can man. only imagine i've oh. never had like a break like that i mean sure like you know internal organs have taken a hit sometimes like but they know but no big deal but i've never had like a bone break and i can't imagine achilles what too feels. Oh. Ooh, i can't imagine because oh. <laughs> nope. i know i know what it's like to have tight achilles because like i do and so like mm-hmm. i stretch them all the time but to have that area not be go- oh oh i get oh it makes me sick Ow, I yeah. can't oh it. my god every and they keep they keep using that sound bite yeah. too it makes me so happy they they love it too they agree with yes. it. like oh we know we like it you know it's going to come up at the reunion at least like two times during that part one they keep playing it um oh but it was god. it makes sense that it was an overcompensation from her other that's how it always happens that's how i when i because when i was still dancing mm-hmm. i always i never really had like a like you are truly born with flexibility. Like you are either born with it or not. And I was not. So I was always cheating. Mm -hmm. And so I hurt my left hip, 
but then I would like really fuck with my right hip because my left hip was bad. And Mm -hmm. then eventually I fuck with my right hip and I was like, so now I have two bad hips. So I'm going to just stop. Yeah, Like it is true. So she was overcompensating. So she should not have been running on that damn track is what I'm thinking. No, not at all. She should have bowed out gracefully when Candy was like, Drew, you ready to race? And she's like, I was just napping or whatever she said. I said, I just yawned, whatever it was. It's like, you just, you, you should have stayed asleep because uh, look at look at what happened to you now, Drew. Yeah. Look, at I you. bet she replays it all. She's like, if only I had just not done that stupid victory run. Right. <laughs> Did she even really win, win that race? We don't know. Oh, I think God. it was a dead tie. I really do think the only reason Marlo's leg even looks like it's further in front is because she's taller. I think it was a dead tie. But mm-hmm. Ralph lied and was like, you won. She's like, yeah. And then <laughs> it's over. Yeesh. But then I love how Sheree <laughs> arrives and Drew's like, am I seeing this right? She's like, yes, your <laughs> arch nemesis. <laughs> and Drew's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have that clip in my phone. I'm ready to meme at the hill already. And oh, God. And then Sonia shows up, too. And Sonia's right, because she's like, I feel so bad you were being such a good sport. She was. She really Drew, was. Drew was in a good mood the whole time. Mm-hmm. She was not doing anything bad. She was she was down for it all. Mm-hmm. And then she got injured. Poor I have Drew. a question. Does she okay. have a, does she have a chef? Does Drew have a chef? Because a chef brought them their dinner. Yes. And it's like, I feel OK. So Drew is almost like somehow the Sonia Morgan of Atlanta because she has like four assistants. Mm -hmm. She has a random (laughs) chef that's always there just like cooking when I... Cooking all the time. And I don't think that was... If I'm not mistaken, I don't think that's the chef that was there earlier in the season. So I don't know if Drew and I will, Ralph I will go back and I will pay attention. OK, to good. That. I didn't I don't know if you know, I don't want to put any rumors out there or anything. So don't sue me, Drew. Don't sue me, Ralph. This is all alleged. I don't know if they're not paying these people well or like what's happening or not paying them at all. But it's a lot of rotation. Why do they need four assistants? Imagine how room. awkward it is, like them fighting and like the like, imagine how weird it is to be with them all the time. Oh, my God. Like the imagine? passive aggressive shit and then like the blatant fighting and people are like, I quit. I can't. <laughs> Can you imagine like the chef getting in her car at the end of the day and calling her husband? She's like, oh, my God. Apparently <laughs> Ralph went to Tampa again. Like who who the hell knows what's going on? They were arguing for a straight three hours. Uh-huh. I cooked lamb, steaks and <laughs> rice, macaroni, pork chops. No one ate anything. It was horrible. And they're Good so God. toxic that they would include the, the, the they would include the staff. They would be like, and don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Oh, like, don't you hate mm-hmm. those people? Oh, they are those people, too. Oh, because Drew Drew has truly no shame at all when it comes to like <laughs> that kind of stuff. She's she has no she thinks she's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She they, would bring she's pulling you in. They both do. And that's yes. that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> Two people that will never be wrong. And it's like, oh, boy. So Except they would, Ralph is a little better at gaslighting than she is. <laughs> true, because she still doesn't even know what it is fully. Right. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one cross. day. <laughs> uh, so, OK, they're giving Drew the rundown on the mm-hmm. Sonia and Kenya in Jamaica fight. Drew is falling asleep. Mm-hmm. But I like how she's also eating. She's She's sleepy eating. We've been yes. we've all been there, too. Like when yes. you know you need to eat because you've taken so many meds that you're like, I need something in my stomach. Mm-hmm. But then she's like, but she's straight up like head dozing and then n- trying to wake herself <laughs> up like head dozing. Wait, hold on. She, they're still here, but she cannot. She's barely hanging on. She just wants to sleep. That's she, all she wants. But she's like, she, I know I planned this scene. Like I, I said, oh, I could film. I did. Right. I don't know why. <laughs> right. This damn chef is here. Cook for 10 and a cook for me. <laughs> Dear, and that was a that was a, like a heavy meal that she gave too. Like she made <laughs> lamb chops, salmon, salmon. macaroni. Like, yes. It was a lot Broccoli. Of that <laughs> like that oh was God. a full plate of food. And that was like course number five of like a, a seven course <laughs> meal. Good God. That was like th- courses three, four and five all on the right. same plate. <laughs> and Drew and we know Drew's going to sleep because she was not even really eating it. Like she's like, I'm mm-hmm. doing my best. And she's could not even keep her head up. Um, this, I will say, though, this is a prime example. We've talked about it many times on here. 
other housewives, we never look at their food. <laughs> Atlanta always has the best food in these scenes. And Drew somehow has become like the pinnacle of having good food in her scenes. Because every time she's on screen, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm hungry. I'm going to I'm going to uh, Outback Steakhouse after this. And I'm getting me. A st- I'm like, I'm getting everything she has on. That I plate wanted salmon after. Watching yes. that. I'm like, <laughs> I, I bought salmon. <laughs> See? I needed salmon. It's something about you, too. Every time I record you, I want Taco Bell. And I think I'm going to go get some <laughs> after we record. <laughs> It, it has because of the story you told me. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I res- I fully respect that I am now associated with that, and yes. I like it. I we're, like it. We're a lot. manifesting a sponsorship for you in the future. There oh go. my <laughs> god! Yes, Taco Bell, come at me. Yes. Um, we're here. <laughs> okay, I'm glad Sheree. I'm actually gr- glad Sheree tells Sonya what Kenya said about Ross, but I'm dying that Sonya's like, oh, I'm calling Kenya right now. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, OK, that would bold, usually be a choice. <laughs> it'd be kind of better if you like set up a scene. But OK, you're new. Right. And so and because this is like, again, you're not handling Kenya right. Like you can't call Kenya with this. You don't know where she is. You don't know what mood she's in. Mm-hmm. You need to see Kenya face to face and have this conversation. Yes. Because right? it's a good one. It's mm-hmm. a good because you you can bust her so well with this one. It's a great mm-hmm. one. But unfortunately, you called her and she's asleep. Because you could have you could have had Sheree there with you. Like you could have invited them both at the lunch and just told them like, no, I just want to talk. You know, let's just have a little meal or something like that. And then like, well, Sheree told me. That you say it and then you could confront her. Boom. We got a whole nother, a whole nother like 15 minutes at the reunion on that alone. Yep. Because then Kenya <laughs> could have said, I didn't say aggressive. And Sheree could be like, yes, you did. And then. Right. But now we have. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to call you back when I wake up because she, <laughs> because she can do that now. You yes. gave her that power. Damn it. Sonia, mm-hmm. you don't understand how to do any of this. Boy. <sighs> She needs it's, another season under her belt. Yeah, she she's, does. We're seeing her go through what Drew went through because Drew, they're, yeah. oh. I don't know if they're the opposite or the same because Drew okay. came in like ready with props and everything, like at every turn. And she's like dialed that back down that well, not with the bones, but for the most part, <laughs> dialed that back down. And she's becoming like a great housewife. Sonya needs another season under her belt to like figure out where she wants to be. In the housewives world, because she doesn't, she never like matches energy with everyone. Like she might say, like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna turn all the way up with Drew," but then when it comes to Kenya, it's like, "Oh, you feel that way? Oh wow, I'm sorry." Yeah, so yeah. it's like, are you the villain or the victim? Like, which one are you? I need you to like, yeah, figure it out. Uh, that's true. And if she can't figure it out by next season, then we're OK. Then we're like, OK, we gave you you have to have at least two seasons. So I, that's how I feel. You all, you got to give people two seasons. Like, I understand like a, maybe a a Peggy, a 100th housewife, Peggy. Exactly. Didn't, didn't need another season. Maybe, or you know, Diana. Okay on that. Right, or Diana. She can definitely go. But, you know, like someone as good as like Asanya, we can we can kick her around. We can work. Yeah, time. she's just figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Because she calls that she actually has. She actually says, cat got your tongue. No, <laughs> right. No, 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 that doesn't work. Mm-mm. And and so that but then it's like, OK, OK, because Kenya can do this. She was like, OK, Sonia. OK, OK. I go, no, no, you <laughs> see now she can do that. Right. You have such a good one now. Like this is a power play <sighs> and you didn't even see it. Nope. That's they, I see. This is probably why I couldn't do reality TV. I mean, there are millions of reasons why I, couldn't, I was going to say one of many, but yeah, mm-hmm, right. Same. One of thousands. But I literally I don't get awakened out of my sleep that easily. So like my phone ringing, like for somebody to confront me, a producer would have to be like on the side, like, hey, hey, Kenya's <laughs> calling you like they're trying to confront you right now. I, I would not wake up for this. So Kenya is already a much better person than I am because I would have to see her the next day at this random ass birthday party that they random ass expensive birthday party that they threw for me because <laughs> no thanks yeah, i'm sorry right? sorry i worked too hard for that sorry <laughs> hey. uh okay so then drew passes out drew is dead asleep. <laughs> 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 and they're like oh we need to let her rest i'm like yeah guys <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah clearly yeah, she's asleep. <laughs> um okay sheree's model call <sighs> Pure comedy. Okay, so I have a feeling that because we've learned that if 
that Bravo will pay for like part of whatever you paid, like so- Sonia from Roni told us this, that mm-hmm. They will like, for example, she had a plumber come out and take care of something one time and she was like hitting on the plumber and being like all raunchy. Mm -hmm. And she said in like, I think it was not all diamonds and rosé. I think she said in that book that Mm. production will cover the costs if it makes it to air. Oh, and so that's why she gets all extra and make sure it makes it to air. Mm. And so when Sheree is talking to Rowan, who we love, Uh love obsessed she goes i invited my friend kenya for support and we're like you don't invite kenya for support that's just (laughs) not that's just not what you do you invite candy candy yes no no one else on this cast except candy the only person you want to invite maybe manietta manietta and candy have them there but anybody else no you're you're saying yourself definitely not kenya no (laughs) she's dead last on that list but then she warns she says she can be shady so Mm -hmm. i have a feeling that maybe they just shady bitch i think is what she said (laughs) she might have and i think she might i think they may have discussed or they or at least sheree knows like okay i'm inviting kenya because Mm -hmm. she's going to make a moment out of this Mm -hmm. that's the feeling i got yeah right because Mm -hmm. like other, it's just you don't invite coochie crack Kenya right. <laughs> to this if you don't want her to be messy. Right. I feel like the moment Rowan heard that like uh, Sheree had invited someone there in her mind, she's already like, oh, shit. Did we? Uh-huh. I, was tr- I was trying to have like the first productive day that we've had since we've been filming this show. But obviously that's not going to happen. We're just going to have to show up to the, the, the fashion show one day and see what the hell we come up with, because she has to always invite Kenya or Candy. And then I got to read them down. And it's too much. I know. Right? Rowan, we, we feel you, Rowan. Oh, We're yeah. on your side. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I actually watched the after show because Speak On It was like nothing. Mm. And um, Kenya says she actually texts with Rowan like they're cool now. She was all on Twitter. I loved it because I was on, tw- I was, you know, looking at the social meds last night and like after the episode and Kenya was going up for Rowan. She was like going that she's like, oh, my God. I think she even liked one tweet that said, oh, my God, give Rowan Marlowe's peach. And of course, Kenya liked that one. So oh, I bet. <laughs> I <laughs> she's bet. all for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen. I'm here for her coming on as a friend capacity next season. I'm absolutely I, I, I would like to see it. My knee jerk reaction to this, because I was I had to watch this like kind of I my first watch was like in the background. I was getting ready. So mm-hmm. my first reaction was so much secondhand embarrassment because that's what I feel when these moments happen. But I mm-hmm. wasn't fully watching, watching. And I was also like, Kenya, like help this poor woman out. Like she's finally getting some exposure and you're making her look bad. Right. Then I watched it to take notes and I was like, oh, wait, I see what's happening. Mm -hmm. And Rowan is just so hilarious and laid back. And I think she knows what's happening. Mm hmm. So it starts right away where Kenya is like, well, I mean, you should have told me to post about it so that more people could have shown up for this model call. <laughs> and even in her confessionals, we're getting like sitcom Kenya where she's mm-hmm. like, snap out of it and doing like <laughs> like Kenya loves to give us these moments. And, yes. and I'm going to be really shady and remind us what a bad actress she is. <laughs> Sheree outacted her in that Marvel commercial they did. Just okay, saying. Teresa outacted Kyle and Kenya mm-hmm. in that Super Bowl football commercial. Teresa might have a, a you know a second Teresa half. Was she great, might have a, actually. a little career. Yeah, I was like, way to go, Tree! Like she mm-hmm. nailed that line. And then anything that Kyle and Kenya did, I was like, horrible guys. Go take lessons <laughs> from Teresa. Right. So so Kenya is turned. She's like, I know what time it is. Like she is truly helping out Sheree right now. She's like, mm-hmm. you need all of this paid for because you're clearly struggling. Right. And, so, and then she, and then and then here's the problem. Kenya was right. She's like, why is the room set up like this? Because we can't see them walk. Right. And Ruan goes, this is how I normally do my fashion shows. And Kenya goes, so the wrong way. <laughs> you have to almost someone like me watching you have to almost respect kenya for because like there are certain situations right there are certain situations where like i couldn't imagine saying certain like and i'm a pretty like like i'm a pretty out there person like i'll say whatever's on my mind i have no fear of that 
but like there are certain reasons like I don't want to make anyone feel bad or just like oh, you know yeah. that kind of stuff. Same. And so like when people can just like say the first thing that comes to their mind in that way and just like no regard like Sheree had so much embarrassment sitting in the middle between and she's like oh my god she, what am I, she what was like ugh, she was fully <laughs> she was fully he- like face and I think at one point she went Kenya like under her breath like mm-hmm. oh but then Rowan moves some chairs. Like she gets the she gets her. <laughs> they move some chairs. Mm-hmm. He goes, okay, I'll move some chairs. And then Kenya goes, they have to be real models. And Rowan said, well, you have to have a budget for real models. <laughs> she, she <laughs> like, what? What? <laughs> what? what do you mean real budget? I spent a million dollars, girl. But then Kenya and her confessional, she said she spent a million dollars to a collection agency. Ooh. And then says, OK, don't put that in there. She'll think I'm being shady. I'm like, you are being shady. <laughs> yeah. There's no thinking we're 100 percent so fucking shady. Yep. It's funny because it's probably true. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so oh. bad. Um, so the models start walking, but they're all really short and mm. but they get one that they like. And the model doesn't have her contact info on the back. And so Kenya's like, no, no, I want it on the back. And Rowan's like, no, no, I have all their contact information. I'm the one I'm the one doing. So but she she Kenya's like, no, I want it on the back. So she forces Mm -hmm. her to write on the back. And Rowan's like, "Okay, if it'll make you feel better. And Kenya says it will make me feel better. And Rowan says, I'm happy for you. And Kenya says, (laughs) I'm happy for me, too. And Rowan goes, oh, confetti. That is my new favorite saying in life. I cannot. I mean, this, we're all going to be memeing that for the rest of time. Oh, absolutely. I have it like cut and clipped in my phone, ready to go ready for to, tomorrow. Confetti. <laughs> confetti. <laughs> like, it's such a good burn. Oh, like, mm-hmm. if anyone does something that's like not that cool. Oh, confetti. You have to imagine Kenya was watching this episode back cracking. She uh, was like so you, proud of Rowan. She's like, well, done. yes. Did good it. job go girl go back. girl <laughs> you took it we went back and forth and you mm-hmm. well done there we go so then the male models start and i i'm gonna be a little soapboxy i need the women to stop harassing the men sexually yeah yeah because it happens too much and we just don't say a word about it but if the gender roles were reversed mm-hmm. it would be such a problem for everybody we would all yes. be like how dare they they could so we got to stop. We have yeah. to. We got to stop. It's just please. It's a lot too. what she said. It has. There's a pouch for the, the, the cro- penis pouch. Yeah. Oh, God. And she like kept saying it. And this, the, he, he looked really uncomfortable. He looked like he was not having fun with that. Mm. The first guy looked like he wasn't too afraid of the oil moment. But right. He still looked like he was also just being polite, like which is what happens when you're a model and you go on these auditions. You get put in situations where you have to you feel like you have to be polite, mm-hmm. but you're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But let's just not do that to the men either. OK, how about that? Let's just please. I'm just hey, watching this episode. I'm just happy that there were male models implying that we're going to get both genders because I was just going to buy like a super big woman size to like <laughs> I was going to go up as much as I could and just like buy that because like I figured it was going to fit like super slim or something like that. So I'm happy unisex there we go unisex or both genders i'm happy or all the the, genders in between at the very (laughs) end it goes rwan goes this isn't my first rodeo and kenya (laughs) says well this looks like your first rodeo (laughs) i bet as soon as those cameras went down kenya was like i'm sorry i love you i was literally just doing that to make sure that like they can pay for the space that we rented to do right Exactly. Like, I guarantee that's what happened. And then that's why Kenya goes on Twitter and makes sure everyone knows, like, we love Rowan. Like, she's mm-hmm. fantastic. Like, yes. I'm not going to like she didn't do anything wrong. And at the after show, she had no. She's like, I love her. She's just like so laid back. That's the you know, I'm like, OK, good. Like, mm-hmm. he was just truly making sure. <laughs> and that is why Sheree didn't say anything. That's why Sheree had her there clearly. Right. Because again, you don't invite Kenya for support. Because this is not a flashback scene. This is a scene that you show in real time. Absolutely. And that's what they needed. They needed Mm -hmm. the whole thing from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Filmed, shown, boom. Thank you. There we go. Do you know what this reminds me of? I feel like this kind of energy that Kenya had. Do you know the story of like how Claudia Jordan 
like got on the show or yes i do okay. i listen i will i listen to that episode of yes. carlos king's podcast it was uh nini when they had that whole you know she, obviously kenya needed a friend and her and kenya were friends so they brought her on the show so it was like the main reason but when uh nini kenya needed when, a friend i just yeah, that line. <laughs> oh she was all by herself after yeah. season six <laughs> yeah and nini needed a friend i'm not nini, not uh nini and Claudia got into that whole, you know, Puerto Reed code that we all, you know, so infamously know. And after that, I think she pulled Carlos to the side and was like, y'all got the wrong bitch. We don't need Demetria. Get her. Put her on the show. She's good. So, like, she respected it. I feel like that's the way Kenya was with Rwan. She was like, oh, my God. OK. Real recognize real. I see you, Rwan. OK. To I this day, you. I just love the realization that Nini, after that read mm-hmm. from Claudia, went up to the went up to Carlos and said she needs to be on this show. Yes, I love that. We all really thought that the reason why Claudia didn't come back was because Nini was like, don't ever have her come back. She, you know, read me the mm-hmm. film. But really, Nini's like, she's good TV. That's amazing. I love that. That means that you're it. putting the show above your own ego and your pride. I love that. And that you just, because she even said that to Kim one time when Kim came back, like, you know, did a reunion moment. And she's like, Kim and I, we fight good. We make good TV. Mm-hmm. Like, See, that's why like, I love Housewives with like self actualization. Cause like, we love us uh, some Potomac like Giselle and uh, oh, Karen, Karen know how much they bounce off each other. They know that's like one of the reasons why the fans, love this show to see like who gets the upper hand and what and what happens like we love seeing uh what is the tax reform free uncle ben we love seeing karen talking about the way giselle dresses we love all of this (laughs) like we love we love (laughs) we love it all so i love housewives that like put their egos aside because i hate i hate a housewife that tries to get someone else fired just because you're having a bad season with them it's like no let's they're a good housewife. Let them stay around. We need the drama. That's why we're watching people. Why we're watching. I miss them so I can't wait for Potomac to come back. I just oh got God, me too. You know what I got a flash of when you were talking about Karen and uh Giselle fighting was when they were in Paris or France and in they were the fighting lobby in the, the lobby. Hotel. Oh my God. You that know, that's my favorite one. season. I, I think, love that yeah, season. Yeah, I so love that much. season too. Oh, my God. That is just the best from start to finish. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I just want to throw that on the back. I think I said this last week. I need to remember that. I know. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. good. For no reason. Ugh. So Ralph's photo shoot um, for a book that he's writing that Drew has still not read a sentence of, but she's writing the forward to. Mm-hmm. Weird. Weird. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's very, very Drew and Ralph. Very Drew. It, it would be weird. You know what? It would be weird if she read the book. It'd be very weird if she read it because that <laughs> that I would not expect from Drew. I expect her to write this forward going in completely blind and him just like accepting it and putting it in the book. That's what I expected the relationship. She's talking about right? uh, love and marriage and he's talking about adoption. So it's just <laughs> no correlation. But hey, I mean, she wrote it. Go. So here we go. <laughs> she's And she's just... Super happy, <laughs> smiling, smiling in that smile, like on the inside. She's going to have a picture there like that's right. The inside flap of the book. <laughs> Not sure exactly what's happening in the rest of the book, but here you go. Right. You know, I know I love the fact that, you know, that Ralph on that book somewhere is going to be described as Real Housewives of Atlanta star Ralph Pittman. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely. Somewhere on that book, probably on the back, like when they do like the about the author, it's going to be oh, like yeah. first, the first sentence italicized. It's like you're not. But about okay. the author, 100 mm-hmm. percent as seen on. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Ralph, he tells them what happened with Jojo's real dad. And, mm-hmm. you know, hearing it like that, it's like, OK, OK. Um, it's just he's doing such a horrible job. Like, it, how is this the first time that Drew is hearing this story? Like, you would think that he would have said, don't you know, I went and saw Ricky and he said, I want to try to get. How is this the first time Drew is hearing this? He just keeps saying, I'm not going to adopt him yet. I'm not. He just he just keeps not filling in the rest of the story. Right. And then remember last week or the week before last in Jamaica, she was like she said on the after show, she's like, this was actually my first time hearing that he wasn't going to adopt Josiah. So I was like, 
kind of shocked and like I that's why I didn't say much at the table. I'm like, why are y'all having all of these deep, intimate conversations in public first before discussing them at home? Kind of weird, but and then they again, didn't even continue yeah. it. That he's like, that's it. Then we're not going to talk about it again. And right. And then like even like the mom's like, there's he's like, I'm so glad she broke her foot. Good God. Yeah, <laughs> we can. Tra- yeah. <laughs> And then he's like, look, Jojo says he wants me to adopt him. I will. I'm like, you haven't even said that. Like, this is the God. first time you're saying all of this. I'm so confused. Do you people not speak? Confuzzling. Super it's confuzzling. So bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeez. she's like, OK. I'm like, OK, again, what do you people talk about? Right. I that because that alone would have calmed me down. Like that mm-hmm. alone would have made me like, oh, OK. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. So he okay, got it. Thank you. Makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. But won't ask again, you know. Thanks. So just go have those conversations right now. Yeah. Like tomorrow. <laughs> How about that? Like literally, time is of the essence. Why are you waiting so long? Yeah. Are you wait is he gonna announce something like in the book? Is he waiting till is he like doing <laughs> I feel like the book has some sort of big reveal? Oh God. This oh is no. A- oh boy. I feel like that and Shiba Shre are gonna drop on the same night, and people gonna like. Have to, <laughs> we're gonna have so much homework for this podcast. Oh no, because we have we have to read that book. Oh my, we have to read that book. Yeah, it's a you know it's gonna be filled with like so many uh like oh. empty sentences and just like the most like it's gonna be like the least depth version of Ian oh, yeah. Levan Sant that you can possibly <laughs> get. It's like <laughs> we should do like a dramatic reading of certain excerpts yes. from it. Oh my God! Absolutely, yep. is it out? <laughs> While we're that's talking, a, that's out? a great question. I'll, you keep going. I'll, I'll research. I'll research. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, at Marlo's house, we've got okay. Marlo is really pushing this scene, like the scene of the boys being back and Marlo being on top of them, like a you know good auntie. And mm-hmm. uh, she, Marlo says she's got food cooking, and then they pan over to the food, and I'm like, what is that? It's like it's a it's a sheet pan that had like, is that pizza like pieces of old pizza? I paused it to decipher. OK. Oh, good. So I believe it was an old pizza pizza. Yeah, <laughs> it was frozen, not delivery, by the way. Uh, I think it was a piece of chicken on top, like a thigh, maybe. And then a <laughs> what donut, I thought it was. Okay. a glazed donut on the bottom of it. <laughs> That was that was what I could gather from it. I could be wrong. People, if I am, let me know. But so I was right to be confused. Yes. I'm really glad you paused it. I did, because I thought the same thing as you. I was like, what what is that? Because she said, I've got food cooking for you. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And over to that. And I was like, hold on. That's the producers are so shady on this show. I can't help but to love it. I love it so much. I okay. I Ralph's book doesn't come out until January thirty first, twenty twenty three. So oh. we've got time. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> got plenty of time. All right. Um. So Marlo's holding their phones like hostage until they can prove that they're good. Mm-hmm. And but then she asks, she's like, "How does it feel to be back?" This scene was very odd, and I I wonder if maybe they're just not comfortable being on camera, mm-hmm. which is completely normal. Mm-hmm. Um, and their answer was kind of, his answer was weird. He's like, I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. And then his answer is, it's like we have our own bed and a clean bathroom. And I'm like, Marlo, where the hell did you send them? Right. Like, it's oh, did you send them there as true punishment? Like, did you send them there because, you know, it's disgusting? Like, what the what did you just do? It's, I don't know. It got dark. It's I don't know. It's I don't it's, love it. No, I don't either. And it's oh boy, that that if almost I feel like it kind of paints her sister in a bad light too. Yeah. And she was kind of the hero of this story. And yeah. I hate that she's coming across the way. It's all icky. And I was just like, uh, I don't I don't like this. I don't like it either. Mm-mm. And cut Marlo kept happily making her sister seem like she like kind of was, you know, not taking the correct care of them or something. I'm like, doesn't she have three toddlers? Right. Lady. Yeah. Very... And isn't she a nurse? What is it you do again, Marlo? Right. 
Like Child. teach your sister how to do what you do, whatever it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> and teach me too. Because and I, teach I, us I all. We like are all wondering and curious yes. if we can achieve it. <laughs> right. I'll, it if seems you, pretty you tell easy. me how. I know. If you tell me how, I'll definitely lose the weight and I'll I'll do if whatever that's I need what's to. It's required. Right. Tell I'm us. Here. That's all. Damn Just it. Let me know. <laughs> okay. So Drew's house, there's like the party is the party's set up. The mm-hmm. party's ready to go. And Sheree arrives and Drew right away is like, where have you been? OK, so here's my theory. <laughs> here's my theory. So Sheree calls and suggests they throw this joint party mm-hmm. and then doesn't do anything after that. So they're like, OK, she wanted us to throw this joint party, but now she's done nothing to help plan it. And what we're just going to pay for the whole thing. So I feel like it was a point of contention because it's Uh like, so why the hell did she tell us she wanted that we should throw first? It was just going to be, yay, Drew's feeling better. Right. Wasn't that the plan? Yeah. Wasn't that the plan? It was supposed to be like or was it supposed to be a Kenya birthday party? I think they had to use Drew as a guy to like get them over there. Right. I think it was always supposed to be a surprise party, like a joint party for them but then like they had to get them there somehow because i think if they told them they were like i'm not coming to that shit so i think that's what it was supposed to be okay so it was both of their ideas to do the joint party i think sheree approached drew with the idea i think, right. I think you're right about that i do think she so is one because we see so, her calling her so she so it's her idea mm-hmm. and then she just does nothing to plan it yep leaves and it's gonna be a drew's house right and so then Drew plans it. And then as listen, though, you do not need to spend seven hundred dollars on balloons ever. No, ever, never. And at the in the after show, Kenya says a perfect she goes or I, I'm sorry, Sheree says we could have got them a nice gift. True. We don't need you don't need balloons ever at a party. We could have, you know, done no. three hundred fifty dollars for one gift and three hundred and fifty dollars for another gift. Looked, I mean, looked incredible, but yeah, it probably could have been been spent a different way. Why am I the only? Okay, my biggest like point of contention. I don't know why I keep saying it, but like my biggest like I feel like everything is my biggest point of contention. But <laughs> my like the thing that like is so weird to me. I feel like Sheree doesn't host a lot of events, but we've spent like a decade building this elaborate mansion of a house. And it's, I feel like we barely see her in the, I mean, I know she lives in the house, but I feel like we barely get scenes of her in the house. We barely have group scenes. There. Like we had that one amazing episode where that it was like was a great sleepover. party. Yeah. Great party. But like, I feel like that's all we really got her. And like, then the scene of her eating the potato chips, but like, that's it. Are you what, like, are you going elsewhere? Like, where are you most days? Why are you not in this house? And why didn't you offer the host when you have like this huge basement, you could have just like turned tricked out or I don't know. It's weird to me. I understand, but Drew, because we know that Drew tallies, she keeps a little running tally in her head. We saw mm-hmm. that with Sonia. Like she is very aware of when people take advantage of her and don't pay invoices. Yes. <laughs> so she has the invoice ready to go as soon as Sheree walks in the door. Mm-hmm. And it's all about that. We got this. But at the in the after show, um, Sheree goes, then there are heaters on there. Heaters. We were inside the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> i missed i didn't have time to watch the after show but i'm definitely going to go back and watch that because <laughs> yeah. that's hilarious to me I, I definitely need a break i hope we get into a breakdown of this invoice at the reunion because they, that's they literally they, they flash back and they because they were like we were going to go outside and they're like but we didn't go outside and so there's just <laughs> all these heaters outside but we didn't go outside and so she's like so no sure goes what are we paying for her 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 heating bill, like, like her <laughs> utilities or something. <laughs> oh my god! Um, but then Sheree's friend calls from the showroom, and they don't have all the samples. Oh boy! And she at first she goes, the ones that he does have look good, but um, the other ones are incomplete, and you're not gonna like them. Oh boy! So, okay, so, but she's not going to let that get her down. This is about Kenya and Marlo. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, we spent enough time on camera (laughs) focusing on the destruction of Shiba Shirei. Let's move on, people. (laughs) Yeah, right. 
And so, but then so Candy and Sonia show up, but then Sheree, <laughs> Drew's like, we're not done talking about this. Turns out her samples aren't all here. And Sheree's like, yeah, there's some of them are stuck in Alaska. And Candy <coughs> goes, did she really just say her fashions are lost in Alaska? Think oh harder. Better right. excuses. I love the graphic they threw up too, like showing a plane going to Alaska and it said a fashion show with no fashions. I love the nostalgia that this show gives us. It's like the freshest show, but also the most like steeped in season one and two and three of this show. It's just, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but it is cute that they invited like personal friends of like Kenya's, yes. Kenya's cousin, Marlo's mm-hmm. friends, like, that's awesome. I'm glad we got a Shay appearance because I feel like we haven't seen her in a long time. I thought they right? fell out. I didn't know what was happening. So like it I was seemed like, tense. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Shay was not uber mm-hmm. excited to be there. Right. <laughs> not like Marlo's friends and like cousin and stuff. Who, By the way, that the only one we got a, a name for was Tam. I think the rest mm. just said Marlo's friends, Marlo's cousin. Like, I don't think they wanted their name on there, but Shay uh. did not necessarily look super pumped. Do you think it's because like, I feel like the last time we really saw her on the show a lot was back when she was our, it was after that scene about like her mom and them going to the doorstep and knocking. Do you think that like she has like kind of a bad taste in her mouth for this show and doesn't want to be on camera as much now? Well, I don't know if it's about not being on camera. I feel like maybe she just is still a little bitter with Kenya. Mm. So you think because, it's not about the show. It's about Kenya herself. Yeah. Well, mm. because I, I did fully understand their point mm-hmm. about Kenya going to her mom's on camera like I did right, like they're right. like look, we get that you were hurt but to show up with the camera crew is mm-hmm. kind of fucked up like right she is at the end of the day someone we know like I, I did understand their side right because it was Kenya I mean at the end of the day it's Ashley Darby did the same thing so same result too, same result too mm-hmm. yeah exactly so it's like I get wanting to document it but it is antagonistic for the person who has made it very clear they're not going to be there and so I guess mm-hmm. whatever like but I it just seemed tense but she showed up yeah she showed up she showed up she was she there uh, but Marlo okay so Kenya is Kenya arrives right ahead of Marlo but I mean like feet just like a <laughs> few feet ahead of her mm-hmm. and like you I could feel her tension like trying it was like a, it was like a horror movie when you're trying to get in before the killer and you're like oh my god and, like, she <laughs> the door. so she gets in before Marlo mm-hmm. Marlo's like she saw me she, she absolutely saw her she, were, <laughs> she was rushing to get in that door yes can I just but, say I love Marlo's look in this scene by the I way do like, too. a real life Barbie doll I love it I agree uh, Marlo is so happy to see her best friend and her goddaughter and mm-hmm. her cousin and her niece. And then Kenya is so upset to share her party with a person whose brain is the size of a gnat. But then <laughs> Marlo's cousin is there. She, Marlo is so happy and she thinks it's all great and so beautiful and she loves the attention. But Kenya is disgusted by the whole thing. Like it was just such a <laughs> it was a perfect like reaction from both of them because Marlo yeah. just wants attention and love. And mm-hmm. Kenya is above it all. Yes. And it's not good enough. She definitely was like, why am I having to share this shit with who thought it would be a good idea? I think is what she said to like Uh have a joint. I mean, which to be perfectly fair, was all all our reaction to like, who thought this was going to be a good idea? Right. (laughs) That should tell you a lot right there. Like, who? why would we let Sheree plan anything when she can't plan this fashion show that's been going on for 10 years now? So, hey, who am I to judge? Right. A rational human being. That's who I am. Uh, as it was, Marlo's cousin gets up and it's like, don't fight with Kenya anymore, Marlo. <laughs> and that works. <laughs> right. Um, same chef for this event. I noted. It was yes. like, okay, so you're just there on retainer. Got it. <laughs> you are the chef of this home. Mm-hmm. Um so then now Drew's like, OK, so this might not just be a joint birthday party, guys. This is because we are sick and tired of you guys fighting all the time. And I'm like, what? No. God, like, what are you guys doing? Jesus. Candy is not saying a word. Candy's like, this was so fucking dumb. Of you got she's just like, <laughs> I'm eating. That's all Candy came to do. Right. It's like, I have nothing to do with this 
at she's all. She's happy with the chef. She's just glad she's there. Every time she goes to Drew's house, she knows she's in for a good meal. So she's like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm there. I love that we're not seeing like the, the drop it with Drew like menu anymore. Now, oh, thank God. It's just like straight like yeah. yams and yes. <laughs> steak and lobster. And- thank you. <laughs> So Kenya tells Marlo that, you know, she's hurt her and they do like a montage. And then Marlo tells Kenya that she's hurt her and they do a montage. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I, I don't even care like who wins the you're worse than the other one award because it's Mm -hmm. almost like irrelevant at this point because it doesn't matter. But then Drew, Drew's like, hold on, we're getting turned up. Mom, come pray over us. <laughs> and Drew's mom <laughs> prays over them, which was which was helpful. Yes, I w- which is what I would have done. Like, wait a minute before before y'all do this. I do. I am a little hungry. So can we just pray over the food first and then you can get right back to arguing? I promise you, you'll get right back to it. I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. Mom. Mm hmm. Jeanette. <laughs> Then they play below the belt, which is literally just two questions that pertain very specifically <laughs> to what's happening in the group. <laughs> like I the love first Atlanta. question is, yes. how would you respond if someone called your man aggressive? I'm like, <laughs> well, <laughs> Sonia. Right. <laughs> and they're I and she's it. like, I would. Uh, uh, they're like, how would you really respond? And then she right. gets up and like pushes the chair back and breaks it. And breaks. Oh. Did, did she really break it or did just the little cushion fall off? I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was like hammered or glued down. I know. I needed them like, to follow what, up what, on that. Right. You you think like as shady as these editors are, we would have right? gotten like a full diagnosis of this chair. But <laughs> I love how like Atlanta, every time we get basically every time we get a group event, you know, a shady ass game is coming. This is almost like their M.O. We used to like it used to be synonymous with the the Bailey cue. But now that Cynthia's not on the shoulder, just like, you know what? We're doing this shit at every event now. Well, I don't care if it's a, a third year old's birthday party. I don't care if it's a Jamaican. <laughs> a trip like this is supposed to be like a birthday party where we're trying to bring these people together shady game doesn't matter at all <laughs> they were even like this is a birthday party for a baby what are you right. doing <laughs> and then the next what one what would you do if you were hosting a party with a friend and they dipped out on half the bill <laughs> candy goes i'd call it out because mm-hmm. candy's like don't fuck with my money hello <laughs> I here think we when go. She said this too, if I'm remembering correctly in the background, I think you can hear Drew say, Sheree. <laughs> 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 they are hilarious to me. Sheree and Drew. I are love the them. Funniest as fu- I, fighting is great. The two of them are so funny. Oh my God. Online and on the show. So Agreed. Like, sometimes oh, their Twitter, that so- Twitter feed. Oh God, it's so good. So good. I hate it all. I hate housewives fighting online sometimes because it gets so like it's just like okay no one cares like go go away from me with this but they i love it when two housewives are genuinely funny and they're going back and forth they, uh, love oh it. yeah because no one is better than sheree but drew was giving her a run for her money oh yes that was when she put it the together wigs? Little compilation of the wigs like oh boy that was so good yikes that yep. was so good the best my favorite one was when she when Sheree said something like last year you were wearing all those cheap ass wigs and Drew was like how would you know you weren't here and she has it like guy hiding in the corner I was like oh <laughs> she's I mean I love it they can I am okay with them feuding yes but here we go Sheree hands out the invitations oh, boy. so as they were being handed out I was like no, 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 no. They cannot have their their little outfits. And then she goes, I have no pieces for the show and candy. How are you going to spend all this money on invitations with little outfits in them? But you couldn't get outfits made to go in your fashion show. That baffles me. <laughs> Might as well start making fashion for Barbie. <laughs> This is one of the best lines of the season. Candy is delivering the lines this season. My God. Because she meant that from her gut. Like, yeah, she truly meant that like that. It was like a that was a business tip. Yeah, she knows like she knows business. So like it baffles her when people are just like bad at business. It's like 
why why aren't you doing this or why aren't you doing that? It's like how much money did know. you spend to get the glass container <laughs> to get this glued in here to make these little out? Why did you do this? Oh my god! Who who made this? Rwan. <laughs> who made? I need to know who made that. Who spent the time to make that? How much? Oh, how god. much manpower? What? How many hours? Were you? Sheree. Oh boy. 100 looks, people are coming. That is insane. Did they all me. did they all get that invitation? Oh god, I hope not. No. I hope that was just for the people on camera. No, I hope not. No, you're right. That's ridiculous. Oh god. Uh, if you if I don't know, Sheree probably I don't know, Sheree has no sense. If, I must say if she if if we find out that she sent that invitation out to all those people and she spent really spent a million dollars, as she said, on this club. Sheree, you do not need to be running shit but your mouth. But That's then it. she said, but then when she, Kenya goes, I went to her model call and it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh but then Sheree did that. She's like, no, I did not say I spent a million dollars. Like oh, and they flash back fully like, documented a million dollars came exactly. out of your mouth. <laughs> what are you talking god. about? <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. Um, but wait, hold on. We're not even at the funniest scene. Sure, <laughs> gets coffee with Apollo. Oh no. boy. Okay, but on the after show, she did explain that she she went to get uh, tr- uh certified for being a physical trainer, and mm. Apollo was there back in like 2010. You know what? I think I knew this. I think I think I did, too. Yeah. Okay. And so that's how, like, the very vague connection started. Mm -hmm. Um, And so because but but here's my favorite part. (laughs) She goes, Apollo and I have always been great friends and they do a flashback, but it's doesn't really show them as good friends. It's (laughs) a scene with Apollo, Phaedra, Sheree and Lawrence. And Apollo's in the clip, but he it's it's Lawrence and and Phaedra laughing, right? Apollo and Sheree have no interaction whatsoever. I'm like, that isn't necessarily a flashback that's relevant. And if right. this is all you have to prove that they've been good friends, then I don't really think this counts. Because like Bravo is good for just like throwing a picture up there from like two years yes. ago and like being like, we've known each other for 10 years. It's like you don't have any older pictures in that, but OK, so you could have at least thrown up the like the, the super old picture or super recent picture, like something instead of like throwing back to this clip that made absolutely no sense to anything. It was like that actually made it worse because it just shows Way that you worse. really have no proof. Mm-hmm. They're like, uh, here you go. They might as well have just been like footage not found. Right. <laughs> 404 error. Error. Uh, but she goes, but, you know, we lost touch when he went to prison. I'm like, oh, that, shit. That tends to happen. Yeah, that tends to happen. <laughs> uh, but he gets a chance to shred Phaedra. And Ooh. this is not the first time we've heard him say that she, you know, left him just to like, which mm-hmm. he, she did. To be fair. Right. And, you know, there's a lot of speculation that Phaedra 100 percent knew what he was doing that was mm-hmm. illegal, which I have no doubt about. Right. And then as soon as he got caught, she was like, I would never and just really did him dirty. So, yeah, there's a lot of evidence for that being the case. A lot of people have yeah. said that's what she did. So I I do tend to run on Team Apollo when it comes to this one. Um, with Phaedra, you really have to like compartmentalize because she's funny, but like she absolutely is kind of a bad person. <laughs> like, yeah, that, a, a lot of documented evidence against her. So, you yeah. know, not, so, not, no, 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 no. So, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But Apollo, he bumped into Tyrone when they were in the system. Now, <laughs> I just can not. No. I for can't. all of you that even for all of you out there that even maybe think this is possible, no, it wasn't. This did not happen in any Where did you of bump way. into each other? Exactly. You were on you were you were just out in the yard, like right. I don't know. <laughs> you were like Tyrone? Oh, Apollo? Right. Oh, oh. Ah. No. Here. Get out of here. They he were said, even in- and he said, I'm actually seeing Sheree right now. 
Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No. I, I love, though, that she made this whole scene and said that the oh. reason she called him there was Some because advice. she needed advice about Tyrone. It's like, that's hilarious for a lot of different reasons. And I'm not even <laughs> going to touch on I'm not even going to touch on them because those jokes write themselves. So low hanging. And, he, and he gives it to her. A str- he's like, you idiot. Are you kidding? I would see, <laughs> he's like, I would see guys a visitation with one girl one day and being like, oh, yeah, when I get out, I'm going to be with you. And then the next day, another girl being like, oh, yeah, when I'm get out, I'm going to be with you. Right. You know, you know who he didn't see doing that, though? Tyrone, because they weren't in the same fucking prison. Yeah, just, <laughs> just just saying. So we're clear. <laughs> um, and so he's like, yeah, definitely it's someone else. OK, like, he, mm. so he's not even surprised. But she's like, now Tyrone's calling and texting. But I love Apollo. He's like, no, that's going to mess up everything you're doing. No, <laughs> you don't you don't want to. I'm like, who are you? Right. Sir? <laughs> like, who Good do Lord. you even think you are? But next time when you see Tyrone walk in, he looks like such an asshole. Yeah, the way he walks. Oh, I just like I'm. Oh, he looks like such an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, Her taste in man is just hold on. Wait, though, the they it's really quick, but they do this like bop of a remix of fashion show with no fashions. Yes. And I have it's been stuck in my head all fucking. I'm going to play it right now. <laughs> I can't stop listening to it. <laughs> it's been in a loop all day. It was only just one little tiny thing. And I was like, oh, are they going to release a whole track of that? Like, they right. Totally Drop it on make, Apple. They could totally like I could hear the build going and they could be like, ns, ns. I don't know. They could totally add some like classic Atlanta. I'm going to reach out to someone on Instagram who I know can make beats and be like, do something with this. Yes. Tell me Absolutely. what you need. I'll get the clips because like we can do some Nini track. I don't know. Something. Something. Go but, to the studio and drop some beats. <laughs> seriously, though, Dwight is one of those men that looks better older. Yes. Because I've never I always thought it would be odd looking, but now I'm like, oh, hi. I don't don't need to see the Instagram pictures, though. Like, that's oh, I, nev- a too I much never for look me. there. I never yeah. look there. I only look with clothes on. Yes. I'm about to say you're doing yourself a good favor. So, yeah, don't don't ever look there. But <laughs> uh, you are correct about the aging. Good with age. Yes. 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 He, he looked stranger when he was young. But like mm-hmm. he's one of those people that was like meant to be older. Whenever I see him, I only like literally I only think about him having that penile implant. Like that's he just did? the most. Yes, we're at the season one or two reunion. It was very early. I think the season one reunion. I forgot. One of them busted him out. They were like, "Oh yeah, you got that penile implant, didn't you?" And Andy was like, "Wait, what? What are we talking about?" And he's like, "Yeah, I got it, and it looks great." And all I'm like, "Oh boy, that seems like it would hurt, but okay." I thought those were a myth. Apparently not. Uh, apparently not <laughs> i would think that is such a dangerous thing to do like You're right because even like breast implants are so dangerous like you know and as mm-hmm. well, I, I will absolutely be getting them as soon as i can afford them but i hear <laughs> they are very very dangerous because like you have to get them you know like rotated and like so i would mm-hmm. imagine that would be especially back when he did it because you know plastic surgery is all it's come so far from even back then right that was like even like I feel like pre nip tuck. Who knows? <laughs> my 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 visuals are really going places that I don't need. Them, yeah, though. I'm sorry I brought that up. I feel like he <laughs> needs to get it removed. Yeah, and, or if he, I feel like he already had. I feel like he had to get replaced. I don't know. I I have too many visuals. I would love to ask him, but I don't I know do if he too. would. <laughs> I'm like, I just have questions. Like, right? And how? What's the recovery time? Right. I would like reach out like I need to ask you some questions He's like you want me to come on the podcast I'm like no no I no, just this is I, offline I, yeah I just <laughs> I just want to ask you for my own benefit I absolutely just know. not absolutely not a podcast <laughs> no we don't we do not no. need to talk about this in public no <laughs> yeah, these are very private conversations that yes. you do not want to answer this stays here podcast. sorry <laughs> this is promise this will never be documented no <laughs> <laughs> right um well now that we've (sighs) roasted everyone out um let's wrap it up (laughs) yes (laughs) 
All right, guys. Uh, Kendrick, tell everybody where to find you. Of course. You can find me everywhere that you listen to your podcast, Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeart. I am Reality and Comics 2, hosted by Kendrick Tucker. Follow me on Instagram at Reality Comics 2. Come for the memes. Stay for the ridiculousness and the hot takes in my stories. Love that. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Please like, subscribe, comment, rate, and review. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.